Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. So this episode I'm going to be teaching you about abstract classes. And um, so what is an abstract class? Well, I'll try to explain it. So sometimes you want to have methods in your super class that provide a template for your subclasses, but they don't actually do anything themselves when called from the super class. And they, they actually can't be called from the super class, but um, they only give the name of the method. That's what that's the only thing you're defining inside the super class. But in the subclass, you have those methods, right? But the superclass, you only have the name of it. So it's, it's hard to explain, but because I'm bad at explaining. But uh, when you do have an abstract method in your superclass, then you must overwrite it in your subclass. But it has to have actual code inside of it. Because your superclass, abstract superclass, is not going to have code with it. So let me just show you. So let's go ahead and create a new uh, Java class. I'll just call it... Um, Hmm, what's a good example? I'll just do like a life. <laughs> That'll be our super class. Then we'll have a subclass of human. Okay. So human will obviously extend life. So extends life. There we go. Alright, looks good to me. So... Yeah, anyway, so this is all good, right? And so inside of here, we can have whatever we want, just like always. But let's say um, we have a method named talk, right? And then you look at this yourself and like you're like, what the heck? Life cannot talk, so nothing in here wouldn't even make sense. So you would usually just use this as a template, uh, template, right? And then you would want this to be called by any subclass, not just human, but any subclass of life. So then you have the same one here, talk. You're basically overriding it, remember? Overriding. So you override it with your subclasses. And then a human can obviously talk, so blah, 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 right? So human can do that, but life is just a template. It's empty. We don't really need that specifically. And um, yeah, so the way around that, people just do abstract abstract oops abstract void talk accidentally got rid of the void but yeah abstract void talk but the rule is once you have an abstract method inside of your class you have to declare the class abstract also but this goes after your public so abstract and then class so it goes before class but after public um so yeah so we get an error here abstract methods can have a body so yeah that's right um, it's just a template, right? So it can't have a body. So what we do here is just uh, like that. So that's how we do it. So um, yeah, so that's just how you declare an abstract method, right? And so this works the same way. It, this is still overriding it, okay? Don't forget that. Because even though we declared it here and it has no body, it's still overriding it. They both have the same name. That's, you know, what overriding is we went over last episode, right? So that's good. That's all fine and dandy. So um, let's try doing this now. Let's go to our main method. Let's make a new, uh, human. New human. Oh, wait. Pff, I'm doing it wrong, of course. I keep doing that. Human. Ah. Human1 equals new human. Okay. And that's all fine and dandy also. So, human1, then we can call the method talk, right? And if you remember, uh, like two episodes ago, I think, if we call this method, the overridden, no, actually last episode, the overridden method, if you call it from the, the subclass, it'll use the the, me the method of the subclass, which is good because that's what we want, right? And then, uh, so yeah, so there we go. So we're just running it, right? It's taking a long time. So that's good, yeah, it works. It's calling the subclass method, right, of the object. And um, let's say you don't have this here. You go, let's comment this out, control slash. If you comment it out, you get an error because if you have, again, if you have an abstract method in your superclass, you have to overwrite it in your subclass because this is totally empty and it just wouldn't make sense if you, for example, called it here. It's going to call that one and that doesn't make sense. There's no body. It knows it's abstract. So you have to have a subclass overriding method of your superclass method, abstract method. So anyway. So hopefully that's instilled in your brain now. So yeah, keep in mind you have to have, if you have any abstract methods in your class, like here, 
the class itself has to be abstract also, okay? And so another thing is you can't have, you can't declare an object of an abstract class. So let's declare an object of life. We just can't. Life, uh, life one equals a new life. Oh, what the heck? That's weird. And yeah, so we get an error. We can make a reference thing. I haven't really gone over references because I don't barely understand it. But the point is we can't declare a new object of an abstract class. It just, it's just not possible. You can't do it, right? So you'll get an error if you try that. So another thing is um, you can actually have what's called concrete methods inside of your abstract class. It's just like a concrete method is just a regular method that's not abstract. Anything that's not object abstract is concrete, okay? So let's say we take the abstract out of a class, that's now a concrete class. If you take the abstract out of this method, it's now abstract method. Yeah. So we can declare um, abstract methods just like before in here. So it works the same way. So talk more, for example, we'll have that method in here. And we'll output um, blah, like that, okay? So we can call this um, just like before, all easy, easy peasy. We gotta, let's, call, let's fix that because we get error, remember? It's because we have to override it. So now we can call human one dot talk more perfectly fine um so the thing is you can't declare a new object of the abstract class but you can use you can uh, declare an object of the subclass and use its super so the super method or whatever you call it anyway so yeah we can declare the method perfectly fine because it's a concrete method and yeah and we're calling it from the subclass so that's why it's all good so hopefully that made a little sense um yeah. yeah, the whole point of this, um, sometimes when you're coding, you'll see that you have like templates in your super classes that don't make sense to have filled out in your body. So you want to just like leave it blank, um, like, like here, I mean, and so you would want the subclasses to actually have the data or the, the implementation, I guess you would call it. So anyway, I hope this um, explanation was good for you. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment, I'll help you. Um, if you want to leave a like, I would like that. <laughs> um, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be posting more like pretty much every day. Um, join the Discord it's in the description and peace.